my my code to open the computer is Edith with a capital E and one nine two two my birth date one nine two two so this is at the UN and uh, um, I think that's me in there probably I want to start with Edith Miller Valentine <laughs> Perhaps today, the oldest living If member. I could get down on my knees, thank you. I am proud to be your sister in peace. This was an act of heroism, and today our charge is to keep the visions and dreams of our sisters alive. My name is Edith Valentine. I'm 99 years old. I lived most of my early 15 years in the Bohemian Forest, in the foothills of the Bohemian Forest, which is a beautiful forest, or was. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy in this park uh, because it does remind me a little bit of my childhood. We were so certain that Britain and France, who had guaranteed the safety of, of this new republic uh, called Czechoslovakia, which was made up of Bohemia, Moravia, Slovakia, and one very small Russian part. And we were so certain that, you know, they would stand by the Czechoslovakia, but they didn't. And um, so then that became a, a trauma when we realized that we would, we would have to find other homes. We lost absolutely everything, except what we really had on our bodies. And uh, was able to get to Britain, then to Canada. I was stateless, I had no papers. But I, I worked really very hard, as first as a maid and as a cleaning woman. When the doorbell rang, and the woman introduced herself as coming from the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. I, I felt like a human being again, not just a, a broom, you know. I was very fortunate. I was helped very much by a group of women of the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. I sort of got back out of being a refugee and living in camps and uh, settlements. When I came to Geneva, it was a very exciting time. You know, the UN was just developing. People really had hope that there would never be another war and there would be a better, a better life for everyone. And I happened to find out that the, the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom had its international headquarters here. So I got in touch with them, and then they immediately asked me to help, and so I did a little voluntary help. And then they asked me to take on some responsibilities, and I ended up within a, a less than a year, I became the general secretary, or secretary general, as they called it, and running the office for about 25 years. And I was really very dedicated and interested in the work I was doing around the United Nations, but primarily for peace. I'm very honored to have been asked to open the, this forum. So, so much money is spent on armaments and so on, leaving very little money to build the uh, social services that women need in order to really have access to uh, equal life. Today, this is really a tremendous experience and a great result. And I think it shows the power that people have to really change. And I think the government uh, representatives that are meeting at the United Nations now, I'm sure will take good note of the wish of the people. Well, and I began to have some impact uh, trying to change society in a way that um, really served the people. You, you know, the work I've done in Wilp, 
it's never me alone ever, really not. It needed, uh, it needed uh, everyone to agree, to talk it out and then modify things and then work for it together. So uh, everything that has happened was always a, a, a big joint effort. My friends sometimes call me just an idealist. I'm not an idealist. I, I just think that's what we are capable of. And, and that life is so much better that way than, than, than to be fighting one another all the time or, or competing with another, trying to be better than somebody else. Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a, how do we get that kind of a world and, and what structures do we need? I think we have brains who can find it. I'm not sure I have the brains, but I, I, I'm absolutely convinced that there are brains who can do that. And, and, uh, and I'm very happy to be instructed. Even in my old age, I'm still happy to learn, you know, how we can do, do better things and... and and improve things, and um, I think it's what keeps me alive. I want to see this happen. I want to see signs that this is the way we are going as a society, as a human species. Things can be done, and I think it's up to the people to really just go out and demand it. It's not going to be given. We have to fight for it. Thank you.